Good afternoon, everyone. It's an honor to speak to you today. And I want to talk to you today. In the next few minutes, I really want to spend some time talking to you about the most important topic in your life. The most important topic in your life. And I want to ask you to open your ears. More importantly, open your hearts. Because I've worked very hard on this message that I want to give to this room of achievers today. Now, I'm not talking to you about your weight. I'm not talking to you about your health. I'm not talking to you about your wealth. I'm here to talk to you today about you. The most important thing in the world to you is you. It's your life. It's your dreams. I want to talk to you today about living the life you were put on this earth to live. See, there's only one you in the history of humanity. Back to the time they were painting on caves. There's only been one you. And when one of these days you're the guest of honor at the event you'd just as soon not go to, after that, there was only one you. You need to live a life of happiness and fulfillment. See, I believe the greatest definition of success is happiness. It's happiness. It's not money. Look, I'm a blessed country boy from Covington, Georgia. And life has blessed me abundantly. But I'm here to tell you, money will not make you happy. Money is great, but it can't buy a happy soul. Nothing is more important to you than your life. Your dream. So I want to ask you all a question. And you're not going to have to hold your hand up or anything. Are you where you want to be in your life? If you were rating it 1 to 10 right now, where would you put it? Now there's a few Eeyores that would be a 0 or a 1. And then there's a few people, oh I'm a 10. They rate themselves a 10 in anything. But I think for most honest people, they would say, eh, I'm about a six or a seven. So I want to talk to you about increasing that number. I've always said, people are designed for success, but something called life comes along and programs and conditions them for failure. You talk to a bunch of five-year-olds, pick a school. I don't care what side of town it's in. You talk to a bunch of five-year-olds and you say, what do you want to do with your life? And they've got big dreams. They want to be a pilot. They want to be a doctor. They want to be a sports star. They want to be an astronaut. They want to do something great. And then they go out in the real world and they get something called a boss or they get a job just over broke and they start getting grinding down on them. The world starts wearing those dreams down and they start just existing. They give up on their dreams and they start just accepting it. Well, that's not the way it's supposed to be. Not for you. Not for your life. But you have to show up and fight like crazy. Fight like a junkyard dog for your dreams and for your life. You've got to demand 
success and happiness for your family. Life will give you what you accept. If you accept a life of too much month at the end of the money, using Mr. MasterCard to pay off Mr. Visa, that's what life will give you. You got to demand it. You got to be a fighter. So I want to talk to you in just a few minutes about a handful of keys. I, I, these aren't things I think. These are things I know. This has been my life's walk. Seeing thousands of people go from here to here to literally transform their lives. The first key is how you think. Napoleon Hill in Think and Grow Rich said thoughts are things. To truly succeed, you have to control your thinking. But in today's digital, immediate media world, it's tougher than ever. Question for you. Who do you give the keys to your brain to? Who do you turn over that, you know, we heard Dr. Amen, who do you turn over that brain and give control of it to? You know, there's thousands of articles of research on what to eat, what we put in our bodies, but there's not enough on what we put in our brain. I'm here to tell you, you can eat all the kale in the world. But if you load your brain with a bunch of garbage, you're not going to be a healthy, happy human being. If your thinking is stinking, your dreams are shrinking. That is an absolute 100% fact. Your thinking is the navigation system of your destiny. Your life is aimed today at your current most dominant thought. Who do you listen to? Who do you associate with? We all know them. We have them in our lives. Those people we associate with that if you ever make the mistake of saying, how are you doing today? You wish you could stuff the words back in your mouth because they will share with you exactly how crappy everything is. If excited, positive people in this room would share their feelings the same way negative people do, we could change the world. You have got you have got to disassociate from those people. You have to be careful what you allow to come in here. I've said forever, never take advice from anyone more screwed up than you are. We all laugh. It's always a great humorous line in a John talk. But we do it, whether it's celebrities, God forbid, whether it's our neighbors, just turn on the TV and watch what you're allowing to influence your thinking. You have to commit to personal development. In my life, it started with my mom, who was the greatest influence in my life. And we always had guideposts by Norman Vincent Peale at home or something by Robert Shuler, or something by Paul Harvey. She wanted to make sure that my thinking would move me forward. Because in life, you're either moving forward or you're going backwards. You don't stay the same. We are not human beings, we are human becomings. We are becoming something. You're either green and growing, or you're ripe and rotten. Every day in your life, you got to weed the negative. And you got to fertilize the positive. Now, a lot of people go, oh, that's just a bunch of positive. Well, I'm telling you, all that positive thinking and how you think and what you determine your destiny to be, it works. 
You must prepare your mind to be happy. Natural state of the mind is negative, just like the natural state of a garden is weeds. If you don't weed the garden, you ain't getting no vegetables. If you don't weed the brain, you're not getting happy. Second key is you got to take action now. You got to take action now. The great John Wooden always said, make today your masterpiece. You're going to, look, there's only one you, and you've only got one today. You're spending today, I think, in a great location. But there is only one today, one now. Tomorrow it's gone. Okay, tomorrow it's a different day. People spend their whole life planning on living their dreams. Let me tell you what, you got to take action. You got to attack the day. You got to move towards your goals today. You got to get up every day and say to yourself, which I do every single day. My wife goes, oh God, he's in the shower doing his affirmations. But I say every morning, I will do today what others don't. So I'll have tomorrow what others won't. You got to ask yourself every day. What are the major tasks that I can do today to have a better, happier, less stressful tomorrow? And then you got to get serious about getting it done. Most people think happy and serious don't go together. Wrong. You got to get serious about getting happy. Look, people say, I'll tell you, I travel, and they see me in an airport, and they go, you seem so happy, something great must have happened in your life today. It did. I woke up, feet hit the floor. I was moving. You know, any day on the right side of the grass is a good day. Life, it was a, it's great, I'm smiling. I live in an airport. People with their roller bags looking like death warmed over. You got to develop happiness. Let me tell you, this, this is the truth. If you're waiting on circumstances to make you happy, you'll never be happy. A lot of people, oh, when the kids get grown, when I pay off this bill, when I get this done, I'm going to get happy. You got to develop a happiness that comes from the heart, not from your circumstances. You got to develop a happiness that just wells up inside of you. Look, money's not going to do it. I know a lot of rich, miserable human beings. But let me tell you what money will do. If you're a fundamentally happy person, you're going to be really happy. What are you waiting on? Some people say, well, John, that's easy for you to say. It's not easy for me to do. I'm just not an, I'm just not a bubbly person. Okay, well fine, don't be bubbly. Be happy. I say if you here's a here's a trick. If you're not happy today, start acting happy. Act the way you want to feel, and soon you'll feel the way you act. Go out and make it happen in your life. And focus on what you're doing. Most people in life have the focus of an octopus on roller skates. A whir of activity with no direction. Busy but getting nothing done. Always overwhelmed but not overwhelming anything else. You got to get up early. You got to make a list. You got to show up with a great attitude and you got to get it done. One of my heroes in life, Sir Winston Churchill, I've been in his office. It didn't have an inbox. It said, action this day. It didn't get into that box unless he was going to deal with it that day. So be focused. Make things happen. You got to focus on what what motivates you. What in your heart and soul makes you want to get up every day 
and go get after it. What is it that drives you? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. My, my biggest motivation in life is I am more motivated by the fear of failure than I am the desire of success. Worst thing that could ever happen was my mama, God rest her soul, Miss Ruth Addison, to say, Johnny, I'm disappointed in you. I am motivated to please. I am motivated to make people happy. I am, motiv I am afraid of failing. Well, I recognize that. Now, a lot of people let their fears turn into boat anchors that keep them from ever doing anything. If you want to win, you got to turn your fears into fuel, into what drives you. Recognize it's just an irrational fear and then go use it as the, f as the fuel that drives you to success. You know, life is short. Life is short. We're not going to get a do-over. You know, life goes by so quick. In a few weeks, I know you can't believe it, but I'll turn 60 years old. Seems like yesterday, I, you know, I may look at you, but, well, God, I would have thought he was 70. <laughs> but I don't feel it. I don't think that way. We need to create in this world a community of positive thinking. The world today needs people that are focused on doing something great more than ever because there's plenty of people tearing us down and pulling us apart. We need to pull together and be a family. I, if you'd bring up the graphic real quick, I would love, I, my website is John Addison Leadership and I'm trying to build a community of people that want to be more positive. I would ask you, you know, I'm not asking to sell you anything. I would love for you to go out and connect with me and, and be able to share this journey together. Because you gotta, let me just give you, you gotta dream big and you gotta go for it. Time is too precious for timid dreams. If you are big enough for your dreams, your dreams aren't big enough for you. If your goals and dreams don't make your cynical friends laugh at you, they're not big enough. Because the easiest thing to find is somebody to pour water on your dreams. They're out there the minute you leave here. They're there. They're waiting to tear you down. They're waiting to tell you, okay, so you went to another positive thinking thing. Rah, rah, rah. You're going to conquer the world, right? You can't listen to those people. You can't let those people drag you into the land of mediocrity. Because that's what they'll do. Life is an adventure. This is your life. This is your time. This is your moment to do something great. What are you going to do? How hard are you going to fight to go out and seize your unique destiny? See, let me tell you what. You need to focus on your future now. Whether you're talking about past successes or past failures, you're talking about the past. It's done. The def my definition of old is the day you start talking more about what you did than what you're gonna do, you're old. I went back to my 40th high school reunion a couple of years ago. God knows people are old. A bunch of them peaked in high school. It's been downhill since the class of 75. Party down, ain't no jive, we're the class of 75. And they have been sliding downhill ever since. I'm excited about the future. What's next? Anticipation. And then go take the actions to live it. Live your best life. Attack the world. Enjoy the journey. Starting now, from today forward, 
Be changed in charging. Go out and make it happen. Every day, get up and live, learn, love, and laugh. And go out and go for it. Seize your future. Seize your destiny. And live the life you deserve. I'll see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded. God bless you.